Fuller also during that time uh, uh, produced the books called Design Science Decade Documents for architectural schools. And then he went on to introduce the world game theory in which they played the world games. So those are things you, that those of you who want to really start to understand synergetics and so on, uh, those documents are, are a tremendous uh, uh, approach to get there and to learn. I continued to refine the design science method of teaching. Now we're talking about a method, a teaching method, which is similar to what uh, uh, Arthur Loeb was doing. It's developing some, a method of being able to work with uh, people and learn and understand the uh, 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 tools for solving complex problem by starting with the whole uh, system that uh, you're, co you're working with and you're considering at the time. Um, during that time, uh, my dad was able to introduce Fuller and myself to a, uh, a, a Midwestern person known as uh, Dick Boyd and his rotegrity concepts. And if you see in some cases where Bucky talks about turbining, Okay, so here again, it's that student-teacher relationship that they work together in a sense to understand uh, uh, and share ideas very openly with one another. And uh, uh, that particular thing is kind of interesting in those of you who are uh, uh, to follow the Archimedean group that Archimedes had done that and uh, uh, process of what Dick called rotegrity. Uh, and it shows up in many of his sketchbooks. Dad continued on by uh, playing around and constructing a modular cabin. So he hadn't gotten out of his architectural ideas yet. And um, I started a program shortly after that when Fuller left uh, Southern to the, go to the East Coast and uh, was beginning to try to create a program in synergetics at, uh, at a university on the, in New Jersey. Arthur continued by the design science collection of books that he developed. And uh, those are very well worth the, uh, investigating and looking into. It gives you a lot of insights to the kind of thinking that uh, he was doing. And, uh, but during that stage, um, uh, I'm not sure what that got up here on this one now. OK. I was working on a series of things on the synergetics projects including the uh, Soft Energy Expo. So that was exploration into environment and, and uh, alternate energy sources and things like that that we were doing. We uh, ran the, uh, uh, that, that exhibit ran in the Newark Muse Museum for uh, two years. And it was the first uh, soft energy exposition in the United States. And uh, after leaving education, I continued to uh, do research in uh, uh, aerospace flight training and design full immersive systems in uh, visual systems, uh, Omnimax theaters, uh, and one of the things that I'm very interested in doing now, it's an extension of world game, if you will, for uh, and the ideas of Fuller's world gaming system into uh, the planetarium field because that infrastructure already exists. The uh, planetarium industry, uh, everybody knows everybody that owns a planetarium somewhere, the directors know each other. They share programs very openly. It's one of the most open uh, organizations that I've ever run across with very, very little political uh, <laughs> uh, problems that you see so often in institutions. You'll de they develop a, a, a little program, and the first thing that they do is they just let everybody around the world know that they've got this program, and they trade and they share, and it moves back and forth. Well, they're in the middle right now of, of upgrading their equipment from optical equipment to uh, a video or, or digital equipment. So uh, this is a good time now for that environment to be developed and that infrastructure to be used to uh, 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 pass on the ideas of doing the world game kind of uh, thinking and world gaming. And that, again, is a synergetic approach to how you solve the problems of getting information out into a, a wide audience in a rather short period of time so that they can, all people can be involved and engaged in making the decisions about how they would uh, be part of that environment and what interaction that you have with the environment. 
And these are part of the problems of that, that we are engaged in at this time in our life in the sense that we have become so narrow focused and so spatialized, we don't really, really understand the behavior between them. And I mentioned to you that there's a hidden person over there in the background or dark. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, these are definitions, so maybe I should hold them for a minute. But there's a new thought about synergetics that's starting to move in, and some of you may have been introduced to them. And that comes from Dr. Hankin at the Institute of Theoretical Physics out of Stuttgart. And this community is in, enlarging, but it carries some very parallel ideas to the Fuller's concepts of synergetics. And basically what, they, what it is looking at is self-organization. And uh, uh, Don, I think you might find this kind of an interesting because Fuller had never thought of synergetics in terms of all of the individual parts sharing the knowledge of the whole. And Don, you sort of pointed that out before. And this idea encompasses that. It thinks of it the synergetics in a sort of a fractal way. That the information may be locked up into the individual parts, but it takes the whole to bring them together to describe the synergy that is behind the whole. And you find that very interestingly in holography. If you take a holographic image on a glass plate of let's say this audience, all right? and you drop that plate on the floor, you have not destroyed that image in any one of the pieces that come back up. It is still there. So every piece has a part or has that instruction for the whole, or you can reconstruct the whole. So there's some new thinking about what synergetics is today. And it's primarily coming from much of the work that Hankin is doing in theoretical physics at this time and is gaining a lot of interest so there may be some hope that what uh, we will be doing is expanding the idea of synergetics to a larger audience and we become more generalist than we had. So this short period of history that we've been engaged in and, and, and working towards where we have become so narrowly focused that we don't know what our neighbors are really doing and thinking and dealing with. Perhaps that's starting to reverse again, and we're getting back to some of the old thoughts that Fubel had dealt with in terms of the synergy is of the event is greater than the individual parts taken separately. So when you bring the two, all the parts together, you have something bigger than what you think you might have by individual parts themselves. Thank you very much for having me.